Oh, definitely the 300. Uh, most excited I've ever been. And excited for a lot of reasons. Uh, being unexpected, I was 47, came late in my career. But the backstory of the 300 is uh, really uh, special. I had been coaching Michael J. Fox in a movie. And in the movie, uh, he's trying to make the TV show. He's playing a bowler in the movie Greedy. And he's trying to make the TV show. And he's in fifth place going into the last game. And I'm in the movie in eighth place. And I shoot 289 in the movie to go from eighth to fifth and knock him off the show. The movie is released on uh, Friday, March the 3rd which is also my birthday, okay? And going into the last game, I'm in eighth place, and for real, as the movie is premiering in the theaters. And I shoot 279 to make the show, and go from eighth to fifth, which is really scary. <laughs> That's, and then I'll, in the practice session, without asking me, this going back now five days, Ray Edwards, our, you know, our rep on tour at that time, was now in R&D, he drills the far screen quantum with a very aggressive layout. And when I throw it in the practice session, it just hooks so much that, uh, Ray, when am I gonna ever use this ball? He goes, you never know. He says, leave it in your bag, make a party arsenal, you never know when you're gonna need it. So I, I was throwing a purple Rhino Pro all week and playing in, and everybody else is striking when we're throwing our warm-up shots on TV. And whether it's the lights or something else, 10 minutes before airtime, everybody's ball is straightening out. And all of a sudden, I can't even hit the head pin. And now it's a couple of minutes before airtime, and I'm in the first match. And Ray says, where's the forest green quantum? I said, it's in the locker room. And he runs to the locker room, which is behind 59 and 60. We're on 27 and 8. And comes running back with the forest green quantum, and he hands it to me. And he says, stand on 40, look at 20. I got, because the tournament director just said two shots, you know, one shot on each lane, gentlemen, and then we're going on the air. So I stand on 40 and I threw the ball and it overhooked a little bit and I get the other shot on the other lane. He goes a little deeper, you know, 42 maybe, look at 21, 22. And I leave a flat seven. He says, start from there. And so I end up shooting 230 and Eric struggles on the pair and bowls 180 something. And the next game is when I bowled a 300. And in the next game, it was, I got to bowl better at this game because I'm all Walter Ray. And uh, when Walter sort of loses the ball and hits light and leaves the split and then gets nine out, I remember thinking to myself, he only can bowl 267. If he leaves one ring in 10 somewhere in the middle, it's 246. I figure he's going to get wrapped once I need 247. That's exactly what my brain thought. I thought that was like the winning number for that game. And luckily, because Walter was struggling on the pair, like everybody else did, uh, by the time the seventh frame came around, I didn't have to worry about winning or losing the game. The only thing that was now in my mind was the 300. And after the game is over, and uh, after the show is over, and I bowl 300, when I'm coming off the lanes, the lady behind the desk says, uh, you have a lot of phone calls, but this one, line four, is the White House. And I said, no, it isn't. It's a prank call. Just hang up. And she said, he's very insistent that it's the White House. And, and I said, just, it's not. And she said, well, I, I'm not going to hang up because just in case it is the White House, you want me to hang up on the president? You know? And I went, OK, I understand where she's coming from. So I grabbed the phone and I go, hi, this is John. And the guy on the other door of the phone says, John, my name is Joe Cirillo and I own the White House Tavern in Chicago, he says, and you don't know me from Adam, but the whole bar is going nuts, and we just had to call you up to congratulate you. That was so much better than getting a call from Bill Clinton. I mean, it really was. It was great.